see an opportunity to set people free. This is the end of contract. It's a structural change in how this industry does business because we're changing wireless for the better. Now look around, this is what they call greatness. Let's start it up. Changing the rules of the industry for our customers, putting them first, treating them right, and changing the rules in their favor. If you want to see the future, then take a look at us. And that kind of a brand requires people first, because customers are first. That's what makes this company, that's the moat around this business. You've long heard me say the real game-changing, innovation-driving 5G requires broad nationwide coverage and a depth of capacity. We're making our 5G network bigger, better, and faster by the day with our mid-band spectrum that's coming on in massive droves. Customers across the country are benefiting from this supercharged 5G network as we roll out the upgrades across the nation. We are defining the future of wireless. If you want to see the future, then take a look at us. Hello, and thank you for having me here today. I trust you're all keeping healthy and safe. This is such an unprecedented time, and so much has changed since I joined this event, what, a year ago. In the face of a global pandemic, we've seen businesses and consumers forced to rely on technology more so now than ever, and they're having to quickly adapt to change. I'm proud of the swift moves we've made here at T-Mobile to lease more spectrum, dial up capacity, and quickly adjust to changes in our network usage. Since I last spoke with this team, we also closed on our historic merger with Sprint. With this, we confirmed a number of commitments on how we would build a truly powerful supercharged 5G network that would serve all Americans and stimulate competition across the country. We're now delivering on exactly what we said we would do with a $40 billion investment in network well underway, accelerating our mission to build the best 5G network in the nation. I'm excited to share with you today how we're aggressively delivering on these commitments, driving the pace of 5G innovation and bringing real and meaningful competition to the marketplace. As you know, we've spent years advocating for the merger with Sprint because we believe from the beginning in a multi-band 5G strategy. While others began with huge bets on millimeter wave as their 5G foundation, we started in a completely different place with low band. Millimeter wave certainly has its place, but given the economics and physics, you don't build a large scale 5G network with it. You build 5G with a foundational layer of low band, providing broad connectivity and coverage. We're doing this with fresh 600 megahertz spectrum, and we're piling on top of it a deep high capacity of 2.5 gigahertz mid-band, topped with millimeter wave, but only where it makes sense. Mid-band 5G drives the mobility and the consumer and business experiences that are so critical. And this is how you build a powerhouse 5G network that can serve all Americans. T-Mobile now holds 319 megahertz of sub six gigahertz spectrum nationwide, and over 1100 megahertz of millimeter wave spectrum. We know that the more spectrum we have, the better able we are to compete. And our strategy is to build 5G with free and clear spectrum, not by a dependency on dynamic spectrum sharing. The force is the sharing of low and mid-band spectrum resources between 4G and 5G. As part of our merger commitment, we told you we'd move fast to combine the two companies and build a 5G network that neither company could build on its own. Well, we're doing just that. We've lit up mid-band 5G in over 200 cities and towns, including major metros such as New York, Philly, Atlanta, Chicago, Los Angeles, Houston, Dallas, Washington, DC, and on and on. In New York City, one of the first places where we deployed mid-band 5G, we've already added 10 times the number of mid-band sites since May. Our pace of deployment nationwide is already at 1,000 mid-band 5G sites being upgraded every month. And by the end of the year, customers will benefit from mid-band 5G in thousands of cities and towns across the country, with nationwide mid-band 5G coverage expected by the end of 2021. With our new multi-year agreement with American Tower, we can accelerate our 5G build 
even more aggressively. And with every mid-band site that comes on air, our customers with 5G devices get an immediate capacity and speed boost that builds on top of our nationwide low-band 5G network that's now available in all 50 states and Puerto Rico. Where we have mid-band 5G deployed, we're seeing seven and a half times faster speeds than LTE, with average speeds of three to 400 megabits per second and peak speeds that can top one gigabit per second. We promise to have average speeds like this nationwide in six years. But the reality is that customers are already seeing these kinds of speeds today where we light up 2.5 gigahertz sites. As we look ahead at 5G though, it's about so much more than speed. It's about lifting the constraints of LTE and unleashing connectivity in a way that we haven't been able to do with prior generations of technology. In early August, we reached a massive milestone, being the first in the world to launch a nationwide standalone 5G network. This expanded our 5G coverage by 30% to now reach more than 260 million people in the US in more than 7,500 cities and towns across 1.3 million square miles. This enables 600 megahertz 5G to go the full distance. That's up to hundreds of square miles from just one single tower and with even deeper in-building coverage than before. Standalone 5G is critical to what we call 5G for all. Our plan to bring 5G to everyone in big cities and small towns across America. Check out the 5G coverage improvement Standalone 5G has delivered to customers in Lisbon, North Dakota. With a population just over 2,000, Lisbon is a perfect example of how we're fulfilling our promise of 5G for all. In standalone areas, our engineers have already seen up to a 40% improvement in latency during testing. And that's just the beginning of what can be done with standalone 5G. We see connected autonomous vehicles, supercharged IoT and smart factories, mobile applications using augmented and virtual reality, and so much more that can be built on this foundation. As we look at these applications, only T-Mobile is building a network that can support all of the business and consumer use cases for 5G and fuel that innovation across every industry. We're working to build this ecosystem and drive development with a number of initiatives. In May, we co-founded the 5G Open Innovation Lab in Seattle and just recently welcomed powerful new partners to the lab, Microsoft, Amdocs, Dell, and VMware. We also continue to run our highly successful accelerator program out of the Smart City Corridor in Kansas City. In the past few months, we've seen some incredible work looking at new ways to communicate across a distributed workforce, train frontline workers with AR and VR platforms, apply robotics and AI to agriculture, and consume and share information using wearables that make our screen the world around us, plus so much more. When we met last year, I also spoke about how we'd use our merger with Sprint to disrupt the industry and be a force for good. Today, we're the same one carrier that treats its customers right, but now we're a bigger and better company with the resources to lift up communities and bring 5G to all. Connecting Heroes is one example of how we're delivering on this promise. In May, we announced a 10-year commitment to give all public and nonprofit state and local first responder agencies free smartphone service, including 5G access. And more recently, we made a $10.7 billion commitment to Project 10 Million, a program with an audacious goal to help school districts ensure every student in the US gets access to the internet connectivity they need to learn. Today, there are more than 9 million students across the country that don't have access to broadband. That's a crisis in the US. And with COVID forcing more than 50 million students out of the classroom and into remote learning, the need for connectivity and bandwidth has dramatically increased. Since March of this year, we've connected over 1.6 million students in more than 3,100 school districts across the country, and we are not stopping. This past seven years, we've shaken up the wireless industry, and we forced the other guys to change for the better. With the talented teams and resources from Sprint, we are now building a supercharged 5G network that's gonna reach all Americans and change our world for the better. With 5G, the possibilities are endless, and we can't wait to see the breakthrough innovations that will be built upon a real and meaningful 5G network that spans coast to coast 
and lifts up all of our communities. Thank you.